Hey guys, it's been a while and I'm just going to try and get right back into what I was doing for a long time. That is the book two and so I haven't really read much lately and that could be a cause of just school in general and my life going to hell basically. I did read two books in the month of March. One of them was for school, but I've been meaning to read them for a while. And then the second one I actually just picked up because I needed something good to bring my spirits up this month. So I'm just going to get right into this. First book that I read, I actually had to read for my creative nonfiction class. And this was one of the first books that came to mind when I thought of creative nonfiction because I have watched a lot of actresses' movies. And I like her, he's an awesome person. <laughs> and I decided to read Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick. This basically told the story of Anna Kendrick and when and how she became who she is. And basically it inserts her humor and her friendly, like her, just her. I gave this, I think I gave it like a 5 out of 5 stars. I actually didn't review this in Goodreads because I forgot. <laughs> so I'm still in the reading mood. So, I decided to just, you know, do an actual review on this. I liked it a lot. She cursed a lot in this book, which, I don't know, I don't really like a lot of cursing in books, but I try. <laughs> and, yeah, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars, even though I didn't put it on good reads, still a better in March. The last book that I read this month was actually a nice contemporary that I needed in my life. I bought it on a whim because I saw that Whitney over at Whitney Novels. She got it in a like box of some sort. Don't know, don't remember what kind of subscription box it was, or if it was an actual subscription box. But from the way she described it, it sounded really, really, really interesting. That, that is by your side, and this is by Casey West, and it's basically <laughs> about this girl who gets locked in. Uh, where is it? she gets locked in a library when her, her friends are there before they go to this bonfire and she ends up getting stuck and locked in the library over the course of like three or four days because of Martin Luther King Day. And then, so then there's this guy, Dax, who gets uh, locked in there too and he apparently was running away. And I love this book so much because I would love to get locked in a, lo a library. I would really, really, really love to get locked in a library. But, sadly I can't, and with the hot boy, that would be very nice. But I did love this book, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, it was something that kind of brought me out of my reading slump and I needed to just get more into the mood because I've been in such a really bad reading slump over the past month and a half. That's why you haven't been seeing videos from me, that's why I haven't seen anything book related from me lately, is because I have been, been in a really, really bad reading slump. So, I picked up this book in hopes to uh, fix that, and it kind of did. Now we're going to get into the books where I haven't really finished them because I'm either still reading them because, and like I was in my reading slump, and I literally got through like first like 50, 60 pages, and I literally could not just focus. Or I'm just currently reading it right now. The first book that I have actually right here with me, the other one's in my backpack, and it is sadly because I know I've read it before, so I'm, I wanted to pick it up and read it again just for the sake of reading it again. And that is The Mortal Instruments of the City of Bones. And as you can see, I got like, okay, I got 110 pages into this thing, and I think I was just in such a bad reading club, a bad mood to read, that I didn't finish this yet, which eventually I will. I promise I will. It's just, I don't know. I just couldn't get back into the series again. I don't know why. I've tried it before. Don't get me wrong. I've tried it before. It's just like, I don't know. I feel like my hype's gone for this book, but I'm still going to try and read it again. So it'll be my second chance. Plus, all of her books are coming out soon, so I wanted to re-immerse myself in this world so that way I could feel much better about remembering all of the shadow of her life. Lives. The next book that I have is a massive monster. And it's crazy I think that I just decided to pick it up for no reason, but there was an actual reason um, I had just figured out on that day, 
that I wanted to minor in history because I just love history so much. Like I've always loved history, don't get me wrong. It wasn't just because of Tame Alton. Like I've always been interested in history. So I decided to read the uh, Alexander Hamilton autobiography, which basically inspired the Hamilton show. And I'm not finished with this yet, obviously. Um, I am a good 41 pages into the story, even though it's not really like a set plot, it's just a history of Alexander Hamilton. I actually do like it. I like the way that Ron Chernow is actually telling life of Alexander Hamilton. And he's going into great detail about what Alexander basically went through, even though I'm only like four chapters in. And I have to say, it's actually pretty good. I might, it might take me a while to get through this because, hello, it's like 500, 600 pages given <laughs> the information. Alright, so that was me actually getting back into booktube and actually telling you guys what I have read, what I'm currently in the middle of reading, or what I'm trying to read in this moment. Sign up's gonna be a weird, I haven't been back in a while. So, my name's Olivia, you're on Bookish Burkitt's channel, and I hope to see you soon in another video. Bye!